My name is Charles, and I uh, have sailed around the world uh, halfway the first time, total circumnavigation the second time. Well, it was an adventure of a lifetime, something that uh, I had dreamed of seeing the world since I was a young kid. The folks subscribed to the National Geographic magazine, and they see all these exotic places and around the world, and I thought, how could I ever hope to, to visit these places? And uh, so I worked overseas a lot, made a lot of money, and was able to buy a very nice boat, the 40-foot cutter. And for that, and my wife and I sailed all the way around the world. And uh, that was about uh, a four-year trip. Well, the most adventuresome and that, and probably overall, were the Galapagos. Um, we spent three months there, and at this time, at that time, uh, individuals and yachts were allowed to travel unescorted. And I have pictures upstairs of we were, we were on a small uninhabited isle again, and I was at a little landing place, and a sea lion climbed right into the dinghy. And he's in there, and he's laying there like, uh, well, take me for a ride, man. You know, take me a ride. So he, he just didn't want to get out of my day. <laughs> so we have pictures of that guy laying in there. So they, these are some of the things that uh, that uh, when you're on, a, on an island where there are very few people, and, they, they, and they're not used to people, then the, these animals have no fear. They just, uh, they, oh, how about that, you know? The ocean is a very, very big place. And when you're out there, you're totally on your own. You just have to bring everything with you because there are no 7-Elevens out there. There's no AAA to come and get you if uh, you break down or you have any permit. You're totally on your own.